on this topic i will be showing how to annotate the geometry when we need further some more information let me go and show what exactly i'm talking about and here i have a simple geometry created horizontal geometry and let me go and uh, annotate this uh, with the annotate element command it will ask me to locate the alignment and i will select that and reset by right clicking on my mouse so once it got right clicked i should be able to see the annotation which gives the information of this horizontal geometry okay so there you can see uh, this alignment got annotated with some information like station interval and also the point of beginning and also some information on the curves like point of uh, curve point of tangents all those stuff you can see there let's say for some instance i need information of coordinate points at some particular a uh, key point let's say at the beginning of this alignment or at the start of the curve or start of the uh, tangent points let for this demonstration purpose i'm just taking to add the annotation for this location at the starting of this alignment so one more thing i would like to make sure that how to add the annotation to do that uh, this annotation will all come from the feature definition that we have used to create this alignment so if you click on this alignment i have used the feature definition called geom baseline so you can see the feature definition that is used in the meantime even i will open the explorer window to go and show where those feature definition is coming from i will open this explorer under open road standards i will ex and expand this geometry.dgn and uh, feature definition alignment road and geom this is the one which i have used for to create this alignment and you can see in the properties as well i will click on this feature definition and this will associated with the linear feature symbology now i go to uh, feature symbologies linear alignment road and this is the one which is associated with this you can see geom baseline and that 25 and again i click on that and this will be associated with annotation groups so now i go to my annotation groups plan linear roots and this is annotation group that is associated with this alignment where the feature definition is used so i right click and go to manage window you can see there are multiple annotation definitions here we call this as annotation definition and all the information that you are seeing uh, in the alignment all those are coming from this annotation definition so as i said for this instant demonstration i will be uh, creating a new annotation uh, for annotating the geometry for the uh, coordinate points to do that what i do i just copy this existing annotation definition once i do copy it it will automatically be pasted at the end of this list and once it copied i will rename that and i do a few changes over there in their attributes on the right side or in the middle of this window so this is for the line and i will also copy this pob station label and also i will rename those one once it is copied and pasted so it may take some seconds in order to copy paste here you can see it's copied here and also i will copy this one or to the label pob label again as i said it may take some couple of seconds to take copy and paste it on this list here so once it is pasted i will rename those uh, definitions and change few attributes of it in this window and once i change i should be able to see dynamically those changes i mean i should be able to see the coordinate points in the alignment so now it got copied i'll just rename this quickly okay there it is i will just show the label uh, thing to do that i will just uh, modify or rearrange this naming so that it won't be duplicate with the name so i have copied the existing uh, this one here and what i do i will make changes of the attributes here it's already in the start and i will keep everything as it is to make some changes i will just place this one on the right side of the alignment and i will also 
make this offset perpendicular to some other value 0 0.05 and I will remove this prefix. I don't want to see this. And uh, one major thing or one important thing you want to change is the uh, text favorite. So here the text favorite for the uh, coordinates is begin coordinates. So uh, for some reason, I was not able to get this line. Anyway, that's fine. I will just keep this label for the coordinate points. Once it is done, I will close this. And now the ORD will dynamically accept the changes and it will be honored in my annotation. And I should be able to see the coordinate point of that alignment automatically once it is placed. So here you can see the coordinate points of that alignment at the beginning of this geometry is created. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.